We're on. We're on. Make sure you get the parachute. There it is. I see it. Do you? Yes. There it is. Well, then I have to be down like this, and that's weird. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I'm leaving this all in, I hope you know. <laughs> You're not. I'm just waiting for you to start. Today, we are checking out the Smoke Jumpers Museum here in Missoula, or right outside of Missoula. See parachute behind us? Yep, right there. Uh, it's supposed to be a free tour every hour or so and about 45 minutes and we were recommended to do this by um, Chris, a viewer and Instagram follower who we met at uh, the RV park we're staying at. So uh, thanks for the recommendation and uh, let's go check this out. By the way, the National Weather Service is totally right here too. So that kind of gets my, gets my science stuff going on because you should know by now, I wanted to be a meteorologist. Didn't really work out that way, but it's all good. taking a look around is all of these sewing machines here. That's actually because smoke jumpers make all of their own gear. So everything you saw on the mannequin back in the visitor center, those yellow jumpsuits, the personal gear bags, the pack out bags, they're all made right here by the smoke jumpers. And if you think about it, it really just makes a whole lot of sense for them to make their own gear. Just all right, so this room is called the tower. All of these hooks that are hanging from the ceiling correspond They're going to bring their parachute in here and hang it up. They're hanging it up just to let it dry in case it got wet, or to get rid of any debris that might be stuck in it, like grass, twigs, or leaves, anything like that. If they do find something, um, so what I have right here is a typical cargo box. In this box, there's enough supplies to last two jumpers for about three days. As you might have noticed, each jumper gets their own locker to store all of their gear in. Um, so once a fire is called, um, basically the alarm will sound, and whoever's at the top of that jump list, they're going to run in here as quickly as possible to gear up. Um, they're already be kind of dressed in their boots and green pants, so all they have to do once they get here is throw on that yellow shirt, get on their jumpsuit, their helmet, their parachutes, anything else they might need, and they only have two minutes to gear up. Um, I don't know about you guys, I can't even get dressed in two minutes. That is not a lot of time. So they will have someone in here helping them get ready, making sure everything's zipped, double checking everything for safety. So this is the tarmac. This is where we keep all of our planes. As you can see right now, there's only one plane outside. One interesting thing I learned in the museum is the chief cause of fires in the West is lightning strikes. The chief cause of fires in the east, people. Just saying. There are a lot of people in the east, though. <laughs> there are a lot of people in the east. Not as much lightning. I don't know if we're actually supposed to go in here. I don't know. Replica of a fire look at tower. That was a really cool tour. Completely free, about 45 minutes. You start in the visitor center, learn some information, then you get to walk through the actual working rooms of the smoke jumpers, see them in there. Apparently, if they get called out on a fire, you get to just stand there and watch as long as you're not in the way. Um, but really interesting. Yeah, especially the training. Yeah. Like every two weeks, you have to jump, like practice jumps, just to stay in in line with exactly what you're doing yeah. their uh every year they training qualifications even to just be um considered to be a fire jumper you have to do i think it was seven pull-ups 25 no 25 push-ups 
45 sit-ups sit -ups and, run, and a a run a mile and a half. In All of that minutes. in under 11 minutes. And that's the minimum, she says. She says it's so competitive. Normally, you have to be at least three times that to even be considered. I'm sure these so people, people are doing that in like six, eight, ten minutes. Yeah. I couldn't even run that point in 11 minutes. Yeah. I could do the push-ups and the sit-ups. I don't know about the pull-ups. Yeah. I certainly could not do the running. But they also have to have been fighting fires for at least two years, though again, very competitive. So she said most of them are five to 10 years. She said the average ages right now here at the base are, I think they have 20, somebody 22, 22 who's jumping up to 56. They have a mandatory retirement age of 57. Um, yeah. Really interesting, and the, the pack they have to carry, and they have to take everything out with out. them. Yeah. So she said it's often a lot easier to get all your stuff in than it is to hike out with everything when the fire's done. Um, really, really interesting. And there's only like 400 my smoke jumpers in the entire country. So yes, it's and a my very arm, cool my, job. And my arm is getting tired. Okay. So I need to switch, or we need to stop. Okay. Well, that could be good. Okay, there, there's my other one. Okay, that's All enough right. talking anyway. So hopefully oh, you got okay. to see a good amount of it. <laughs> and um, yes. the rest of the plan for the day is to hang out. But we're going to go into downtown Missoula to maybe do some happy hour, a brewery or something this afternoon, evening. So we'll take you along. That sounds good. But only, only matters up until... Oh, good. We will pay to park when we're in cities, but only when we're right outside of where we need to be, which is this place, which is the Montana distillery known for their vodkas flavored vodkas and stuff the Mountain Dew a buck and we'll just stay here cuz that's pretty good yeah cuz it's only one hour cuz that's the five that's free. Okay. martini Monday baby five bucks See the little cilantros. Yeah, it doesn't smell sweet at all. It's not. Go ahead. Give it a taste. Give it a taste. Oh, Steve, you have to try this before you try your sweet ones. Uh oh. Holy mother! That's really cool. It's spicy too. That's the ginger. Oh, the little bit. Of oh yeah. Simple syrup in it. That is so. You that is really so taste good. The ginger, though. I'll give you one guess what I got. Moose tracks. So good. It's sweet and delicious. Oh man. Give me give me more. 